Hello everyone, this is Jackie Pride and I am doing the Kings of the Court Cards and in this clip I'm going to do the King of Cups using the Tarot of the New Vision deck and um, in this clip I'm going to talk about the King of Cups. So this is what it looks like in this deck. We see the King, he's sitting there. See, on the back of his throne is a picture of what he would look like if you were facing him. So he's sitting there with his cup and and um, his scepter. And of course the throne is the seat of power. So, But what is he looking at? Okay, he's looking at a boat up there that's stuck on the land. And he's sitting on a platform in the ocean, in the water there. And, and behind him he's got tools and a fisherman's net. So, you know, it's kind of like, what's he looking at? Maybe he got stranded somewhere, and he's making the best of things. And I think this is what, you know, the kings show us what we need to bring into our personality to handle whatever situation we're in or t as a way to approach the, the question, if you will. This king is, he is still in his seat of power. He's still on his throne, but he's in a situation that, it's like acceptance is the word of the day. He's sitting there looking at his boat. It's, he can see the problem. The problem is the boat is on the land and not in the water. Um, so what's he doing? It doesn't mean that it's a permanent problem. It just means, you know, it could be a temporary problem, but for whatever reason, he's in a problem. So what's he doing? He's got the fisherman's net there so he can he can catch fish. He's not going to go hungry. He's got tools behind him. He's got a, it shows a knife and a, um, like a mallet and a, and a, an axe. So he's got things at his disposal to help him, um, you know, to help him out with surviving. There's also a compass there. So if, you know, he wants to explore, yes, he's got, um, knowledge of what direction to go in and whatnot. Uh, in the distance, there's a dolphin. See, there's a dolphin jumping. Dolphins tend to represent um, joy, and to me, they represent past life, um, spirituality, very kind of esoteric, new agey spirituality as well, maybe even Atlantis um, teachings interest in in new age things like that but definitely they are a symbol of freedom as well they're a symbol of aquatic freedom right but he's in a situation where he doesn't necessarily feel free so that's kind of like the paradox he accepts the situation as it is and that's where his seat of power is he accepts the situation, he accepts the person, he accepts what's going on, and he's focused on what he can control. He's not trying, like he can't get the boat in the water, but what he can do is he can get the net and he can get the fish and he can get the firewood and he can do those things so he can eat and take care of himself and take care of his own needs. And I think with cups, the suit of cups, it's very easy to get lost in the feelings and the problems and the situations around you. So, this card comes to us as a reminder that in life, there may always be a problem going on. It's just like going to the supermarket. There's always something you could use. Even if you have everything that you need, you could always really go to the store and find something to buy because there's always something someone needs. It's kind of a never-ending, bottomless sort of pit sort of a thing. His focus is on himself and what he can do what he has the power to control. That's where your emotional boundary is going to be. It's just, okay, that's how the situation is. Now what can I do about it? Maybe the only thing I can do about it is um, sit down and, like the dolphin, just figure out a way to find some kind of positive thing in the situation because having the knowledge and the enlightenment to realize this is too big for me to, to change right now. I don't have the power to change this whole thing overnight. Maybe over time it'll come to me, but right now it's just small, small steps. 
just the small things in life that give you joy. And at the very, very least, the most obvious thing, he's still alive. So that doesn't mean it's a terrible life. So that's what the King of Cups brings to us. That's the message he brings to us. And as a celestial guide, your angel or saint or ascended master may be bringing that healing to you, the healing of emotional boundaries, finding acceptance for what is going on, refocusing back onto what you can control, and being proud of yourself for at least taking care of what you can take care of, even though other things are going on that, you know, you wish were otherwise. You know, but definitely the challenge of this card would be dwelling too much on what's wrong. Notice he is facing the boat after all, so he does have a very clear view of the problem. And that means that maybe emotionally it may be always nagging at him because he doesn't want this problem to be there. So it's learning how to live with a problem or some kind of situation that it's, diff it's not how you want it to be. Learning how to live with that. Again, acceptance. So that's what the King of Cups brings to us. He's saying, put more acceptance into your personality with regards to this. And then maybe you can get the result that you're trying to get. Um, the, the dolphin reminding us, we don't have to be unhappy. Um, a truly spiritually enlightened person can find joy in anything. So, and again, this card doesn't mean that the problem is going to go on forever. It just means like that's how we're going to tackle the problem until the solution comes along. Um, who knows? I mean, with a good rain, that boat might be in the water again. So, um, and as if for a God box message, I would say that the King of Cups would we would go to our God box with the request of, Dear God, please help co-create with me the ability to accept what is going on and um, give me the wisdom to know what I can uh, change and give me the wisdom to know what I can't change. And let that be the beginning of sitting in the seat of power. Okay? So with that, I bless us all with enlightenment. Have a great day.